name is Marie-Claude Bourbonnet. I'm French-Canadian from the province of Quebec, Canada. So most of English-speaking people call me Marie-Claude, or just Marie, as it's simpler. And I discovered cosplay in an unexpected way in 2009. I was first brought to the public eye because of my modeling work. But I was a former fashion designer. I've studied in fashion design. I'm a seamstress since I'm 19. So one day, just for fun, I asked her to a photographer friend uh, if he would be willing to do something else than laundry and bikini pics. And I said, I made that costume from Mortal Kombat because I was a big Mortal Kombat fan. So I made the costume of Frost. And I said to, the, to my photographer friend, would you take that in picture? And he said yes. So we did that photo shoot, and I had no idea what cosplay was at that time. He released the pics on the internet, and they were so popular, we were wondering why that picture would be more popular than the usual sexy stuff. And this is how I found out that dressing up as a character had a name, that it was called cosplay, that you guys in the States had those gigantic conventions called Comic Cons. I had never heard of that before. So I said, okay, wait a minute. I'm a former costume maker and I have the body type of those superheroes, comics and, and, and characters from Japanese anime and manga. If I don't do cosplay, who will? And this is how it all started. So I, when I found out about cosplay, I just said, this is for me. This is going to allow me to use all the skills that I developed over the past years as a costume maker. Okay, then um, what are the conventions and, uh, that you've gone to that you actually really like? Um, I really enjoyed Dragon Con. This is actually the really first convention I attended with my friend Ricky Riddle, who is another very well-known cosplayer. I was talking to her on the internet and we had the opportunity to meet at some point and she said, you should come to Atlanta and attend Dragon Con, which I did. So I started with Dragon Con and I really enjoyed it. I think it's one of the most, it's one of the craziest conventions. It's just, it's just Dragon Con is just insane. <laughs> Thank you. Since you are a designer, for yourself, maybe for your body shape, what are certain accents that you like and style that you like to apply to your costume design? I, I always pick up the characters uh, because of the costume. From time to time I even make the cosplay of a character that I didn't know. It, it's the costume that is talking to me. It's like, there's a technical side to that costume that I want to do. I want to build that. I, I think that there's something for me to learn. That process will, will allow me to go further in my techniques. Uh, that's what I did with Rain Bumika. I did a cosplay of Rain Bumika and I had never played Street Fighter at the time. But the costume was so so strange in itself. I said I, I have to I want to build that. And then I made searches about the character's background. So it's not necessary. Uh, people think I arrived in the cosplay community at the time where things were started to get more and more sexy. And you see a lot of of girls that come from the modeling industry who want to take advantage of that geek trend and 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 be like be part of that very trendy thing and they attend convention and sexy costumes. So I was expecting to be judged. Like she's just another blonde girl with big boobs who want to have attention in, in sex sex shop costumes. But I was so skilled as a as a costume maker that they actually said well, she had a, a, a very good team working for her because her costumes are actually looking good. So I had to fight for many years posting pictures of my sewing machines and posting work in progress pictures to show that I was actually making my costumes by myself. So I don't necessarily pick up costumes that are super sexy, but in a certain way, sometimes I have to because you have to do what your public wants to see. If I only pick up costumes that cover me all, then the fans, some fans are disappointed. So it, it's part of the game. I couldn't expect to have the body shape that I have, to be a glamour model, to do nudes, and to never deliver any sexy cosplay. You have to also give what your fan base wants to see. So of course, especially in the States, people enjoy colorful costumes, cleavage, bright stuff, gigantic things. So you have to do a little bit what people want, and other times I really pick up a costume for myself. Like I'm pleasing myself. I want to do a costume that will allow me to develop my own skills. So I try to do a little bit of everything, but sexy stuff is part of who I am and of what I do. So I, I, I will not deny it. It's, it's part of who I am. If you can, can you explain the costume you have right now on and what is it you like about it and design it? Maybe even the fabric. This 
one is made out of latex. I found out uh, about latex when I worked as a glamour model back in 2008. I had the opportunity to meet uh, people from Polymorph, which is a Montreal-based latex clothing company. And I started to collaborate with them. And at some point I said, uh, what if I was using latex uh, not for my modeling work, but only for my costume work as a material, as one more material that I could use as a costume maker? And they said yes. And together we made this costume from the Fantastic Four. This is the very first latex costume that I made. It was developed in collaboration with Polymorph in Montreal City. And I, I, I have worn this costume for the first time in Euro Comic Con 2010. Before that, it was very rare that we would see latex in conventions. It was more underground, it was reserved to the fetishist scene or for the gay community, but it was not like, uh, it was not that common. And after 2010, I realized that Polymorph and I have created a precedent and we created a monster because now there are companies that are specialized in producing superheroes latex costumes. So it's, it, it's new, it's only new. Now it's common that you will see latex costume in Comic Cons, but that wasn't existing before. So, so I think that I, I changed something with, with this Sue Storm costume. Now being a cosplay, I mean, you obviously have a little history and everything and, uh, and how you got there and what, what uh, spun it into from fashion to actually get into cosplay and makeup. Um, is there anything you would advise anyone getting into this or um, uh, what is, yeah, please go ahead and answer it if you say if someone wants want to start to sew as an example starts by something easy like a little skirt or pants and then a little dress and then you upgrade slowly to something more complicated because if you start by something complicated you make you may get discouraged and you don't want to get discouraged you, you just want to slowly learn so start by something easy and don't be afraid to start all over again and my ultimate tip would be don't hesitate to make mock up don't you ever do a pattern and, and, and cut it in the real fabric right at the beginning because your first pattern is never the good one. There's always adjustments to be made. Even I, I, I'm doing that for more than 16 years and it's never perfect on the first try. Make mock-ups, make adjustments, start it all over again, don't get discouraged. Choose a character that you like, it's more motivating when you're working on something that you like. I, I can work on something that, that comes from the fan suggestion a character that I don't know, uh, a character that I'm discovering for the first time and that will not make a difference in how motivated I, might to, I am to do it because I'm interested in the technical side but if you're just starting into it, I think it's better if you work on a costume that comes from a character that you personally like. So those, I think those are the best advice I could give. Sure. What so, is what is the costume? So that's a latex bodysuit. I think that I tend to substitute spandex and stretch fabrics for latex because I think it has a different finish and it, 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 it it's good for um, skin tight costumes. So as Miss Marvel has a very skin tight costume, latex was a good option. And you you can also have latex gloves. So that was an easy part of the costume to pull out. Uh, so these were sponsored, the gloves were sponsored by Polymorph, but I made the bodysuit by myself. And it's, it's uh, great because uh, latex is glued, it's not sewn, so it, it gives good results for those pieces like that that are added on. It's easier than trying to stitch a spandex piece for the lighting, so it gives a different result. And then the boots have their story too. I was today. I make boots. I, I met um, a local uh, shoemaker who taught me how to make real boots and building the sole and everything, the real stuff. But at that time, I wasn't able to make boots, so I just bought short boots and I built the upper part of the boots in real leather. And I went to see a shoemaker and we stitched. We stitched them together and we adjust the zipper inside so I could have high high boots. But now, now I try to, to do more stuff by myself, so I have made leather boots and leather gloves. So I try to be as specialized as I can in every field. Okay, where can we find you online? Uh, uh, 
Do you have a website? I have a website. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. My name isn't easy, but once you got it, you're gonna find me everywhere. Just Google my name. So I think that if I show you, that's my name. It's French. I could have a shorter stage name, I know, but it's too late now. I'm known for my real name. So just learn it. <laughs> it's Mary Claude. Bourbonnet and you'll find that's it my website and everywhere where I am on the social media. You want me to look at you or to look at the camera? Look at you, sure. Alright guys, if you like our videos, just like, comment, subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow us on all of our social media sites. It's just search Retrenders for everything. Peace. Thanks.